Who's you? Get him out again in air, Linda Dishnikas. And welcome to the latest installment of our Week at a Glance videos. This week, featuring week eight already. So we welcome you on the 6th of October. It's a Friday. It's a popcorn Friday. So if you're catching this before you send the kids off to school, they're probably going to want a couple bucks. Uh, we're going to have popcorn for 50 cents a bag, maximum four. Can't buy 40 bags, sorry, kids. And we're also going to have Gatorade, 25 cents a cup, and I believe the maximum there is two cups. All of this they'll get just before dismissal. We'll begin our session today formally in our class stream page. Um, it's a good organizational tool for your student. You're going to say, okay, where are we at? What do we have to do? Contact information is there. The newsletter that went home yesterday is there, and we'll talk about that momentarily. Our Spirit Week, we'll also talk about that momentarily. Um, we have the newsletter from the uh, project to build us a new school. Can't believe how much progress has been made in the last few months there. Um, some older Week at a Glance videos and newsletters, I, and October's breakfast and lunch menus. I do tend to keep the Week at a Glance videos up for a few weeks. That way you can look back if you so chose. So let's begin here in our newsletter. Today is a Friday. I know it says tomorrow, October 6th, but today's October 6th. I will be going down to 7th Gen, so not quite as um, not quite as far of a drive as we had in our racing field trips. And hope the students all enjoyed that opportunity to learn just a little bit about what our ancestors had to do to collect Manoman off the lakes. Um, They'll be working on a project there. Um, I already mentioned the popcorn and Gatorade Fridays. I'll come back to the Spirit Week in a moment because I got a better image than this. Just a reminder that we do have a school web page. Uh, I do also post our week our weekly learning plans on the teacher page through there. Um, just a reminder, um, some of your students are doing a great job. Uh, kind of getting them ready for middle school. There's homework sent home every Tuesday and Thursday. Although if they told you on Tuesday, this week that they didn't get it, they were telling the truth. Um, the vans did not beat the uh, buses. So yeah, we just didn't get back to it. Um, any homework or classwork that they don't finish does become homework. And we're trying to get students to develop those positive study habits that will help them be successful next year. Um, if you have questions, please reach out. Otherwise, I'm sure we'll talk about it at parent teacher conferences in just a few short weeks. Um, obviously, if you're seeing this video, you get this email. Um, just a quick review of what we're working on. We're working on division in math. Uh, we've done some multiplication, place value, and it's always good for them to practice. Khan Academy is a really good one. Um, where they can students could look up specific things that they're struggling with. Uh, language arts, we're finishing that first unit. Um, this week we're looking at D Day. And social studies, uh, we're looking at our different cultural regions. We spent some time this week on the Eastern Woodlands, um, since it's our home region. Um, we'll be moving throughout. Uh, students will be expected to identify the regions on a map. Um, not necessarily with tribal nation names, but being able to identify this is the eastern woodlands, this is the southeast, southwest, Pacific Northwest, California Intermount region, plateau, Great Plains, whatever it may be. Um, then we'll be moving on to look at um, some basic regions of Africa and our um, three most noted kingdoms of West Africa. And then it'll be already the end of the quarter. So some opportunities for students to build up some threes right off the bat here. Um, science, we're continuing on the web of life that will complete just before the end of the quarter, um, which is only two weeks away. And you can see our language corner. If you click that link or go to that link, there's a lot of good information about our language. Although it's written more in a Minnesota dialect, um, our students will identify a lot of these words. Uh, you can see that we had a holdover from Manoman with 
uh, Minicon, and then we're going to go with some changes of the weather. As you notice, summer fell away, and fall got here in like a couple hours after. Just missed the party. Looking at our October Spirit Week, uh, Minicwegizis, October 9th, that's Monday, Make Your Monday Indigenous, Wear Anything Indigenous for Indigenous People's Day. Trippy Tuesday, wear your favorite colors and patterns. Wednesday, Blackout Wednesday, wear all black. Then we have Fallback Thursday, wear fall themed or fall colors. And Freaky Friday, wear anything Halloween themed. Uh, that's not necessarily going to be your Halloween costumes. We'll do that on the 31st or somewhere close to it. Looking at our learning plan to finish up today's episode. Uh, you can see some of the short stories we'll be looking at and reading, writing, we're working on opinions. Uh, you can see our small group, some of the things we do online. The online stuff, students are always allowed to access it. Probably talk about some things at parent-teacher conferences, good sites for them to go to if they're bugging you to use a computer. Um, there are some that I encourage and some that I'm not a huge fan of. I need to see my email again. So I hope everyone has a Minogiji God and that a great weekend. And we'll be coming back on Monday for the last two weeks of the quarter. Um, can't believe it's here. Um, so have a great weekend and we'll see you all on Monday. I'm a peace.